I think what I, th I really think the the real secret is that you have to if if you want to get to that higher place, you have to be asking um, not what's in it for me and what can I have, but how can I offer to someone else that which I would like to have for myself and 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 not care about whether it shows up or not. And so the four virtues, according to Lao Tzu, are. And if you're living these, if you're, if you're, and this is what I talk about in my talks over and over again. If you want to get to meaning in your life, if you want to get to that field of intention and be there, what does intent, what does the field of intention do? What does God do? What does source do? What does source energy look like? It looks like serving. It looks like giving. It asks nothing back. It, it wants nothing back from anybody else. It, it doesn't restrict it to anyone. It's, it doesn't judge. It just offers. It offers abundance. It offers its sunlight. It offers kindness. It offers joy. It's like it's constantly doing this on a, all the time, and it's only our egos, that, or our our connection to our attachment to this this this, this realm that I love the way he describes that at, uh, in number sixty, that. Uh, As long as your shallow worldly ambitions exist, the door will not open. You know, so it's, um, it's like you open doors by getting into virtue. When you look at the word Tao De Ching, Tao means the way, T-E, T-E, Tao De Ching, just means living the virtue. That's what it means. It's the virtue. And the virtues, according to Lao Tzu, are first reverence for life, which manifests, that's for all of life, which manifests as love and respect for yourself and others. So a reverence, practicing a reverence for life, for others. A natural sincerity, which manifests as honesty, simplicity, and faithfulness. Gentleness, which manifests as just kindness and consideration for others. And supportiveness, being supportive of others, which manifests itself in service. Each one of these things I was doing in that moment without thinking about it. Just, and the laws of the material world suddenly stopped. So, so it's like what I've discovered is that when I get my attention off of what's in it for me, which is where I was throughout the whole ambition phase of my life, how much am I going to make, how, am I, how well am I going to do, how are other people going to perceive me, blah, blah, how much is my stuff going to be worth, and blah, 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 blah. Uh, when I got off of that and onto... How can I, like I took a whole year to just live the Tao Te Ching, an entire year, 12 months, you know, every day, just living it and practicing it and talking about it and meditating on it and so on. And, and I just kept getting more peaceful and, and easier. And more kept coming to me, bigger and more and amounts and shinier and nicer and more money, more, more fame, more accolades, more all of that stuff, totally unattached to it. Like, don't even want to be bothered with it. You know, it's just, uh, it's just not where, it's not what I'm about. It's fun, I, I, you know, I, watching it, and virtually everything that I make now I give away. Everything. No matter how much money I get paid, it's like, I don't, I've already know that I don't really need anything else. My friend Byron Katie says that uh, to believe that you need what you don't have is the definition of insanity. To believe that you need what you don't have, because you're already here, so you've already proven that you don't need it. So to go around believing that I can't be happy, fulfilled, you know, whatever it is, unless I get the stuff that I don't already have, it's a complete and total illusion. It's a, it's a thought that isn't even true. There's, there's no truth to it whatsoever. You don't need anything. And when you get that, the irony is you're no longer, you're no longer attached. Your, your total life is about it's just about living those virtues. How can I serve? How can I be sincere? How can I be gentle? How can I be supportive? And thinking like that. And that's how I think now. And because of that, I'm, I'm in meaning. And being in meaning, the times that I was in ambition, you know, is, uh, is delivering more and more and more and more of what I wanted so much then. And now that I'm not attached to it, it's like I can just be like the I can be like the cat, you know. I can just go about my business and just let it follow after me, wherever I go.